Albert Einstein's general relativity laws allow for the existence of wormholes. In 1930, Einstein and his colleague Nathan Rosen calculated the mathematics of one of these intergalactic pipelines. It became known as the Einstein-Rosen Bridge. The wormhole is a solution of Einstein's equations for general relativity, telling us how gravity works. They're hypothetical, and what they do is they connect different parts of space and time. The Einstein-Rosen mathematical wormhole arose from studying black holes. A black hole is a region in space of extremely strong gravity. The gravity is so strong that there is no way for objects that get too near to break away from its gravitational pull. Nothing can escape a close encounter with a black hole, not even light. This inverted fountain serves as a visual analogy to what's going on around a black hole. At the bottom is the uh, area inside the event horizon. And the water falling into it is analogous to gas that might fall into a black hole. Imagine yourself being a fish swimming around this region. Once you get down inside this central portion, you're past the point of no return. But Einstein never intended his wormhole as a tool for space travel. His wormhole is theoretically created at some moment of time. It opens up briefly, then pinches off. Anything that tries to pass through it will get crushed when it squeezes apart. The typical wormhole that you write down in your equations and study is unstable. It'll vanish in an incredibly short time. So what you need is some means of holding it open scientists began to investigate whether there might be a type of wormhole different from Einstein's that is traversable. But traversable wormholes needed something to prevent them from pinching off. You want to stabilize the wormhole. You don't want the wormhole to collapse. Keep the wormhole open. That requires something new called negative matter or exotic matter. We've never seen negative matter before. This is a, a photograph of this uh, strange ring it was recorded in uh, Sussex two weeks later and uh, took me by surprise because uh, it looks similar to the uh, object in uh, Ramos Arispe. So we made some comparisons and uh, we uh, were able to establish a possible link with the incidents taking place in Mexico and also in England, but that was not all because more were to come. Uh, as you can see here, this is a comparison. This is uh, the ring uh, from uh, Sussex and in England, and to the right, the one from... They look similar, very similar. In some way, this is a new phenomenon that uh, we were uh, expecting to repeat, repeat, and it did. It repeated itself in England. Two weeks later, is that the way these creatures, these ships, come to Earth? through these holes? I don't know. It's very difficult to know. Hypothetically, these wormholes exist. Nobody has proved that they just is an hypothesis. As you know from Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, Carl Sagan and others, said that this was possible, but no one has ever proved that they really existed. So when we uh, began discussing uh, this re in this research about this new phenomena, we uh, decide and, well, we comment, could this be the, the initiation of the known, uh, the, the so known uh, dimensional portholes? Of course, we were speculating on certain, but uh, as you can see, 
in December, another one appeared in England, and uh, we were wondering maybe this is a new, uh, a new kind of phenomena that is going to appear, telling us something, maybe giving us some clues, some clues how it's possible for an a, a non technology, advanced technology, to uh, in some way bend the space time for certain purposes. Now you are seeing here what we know as a dimensional vortex on 22 December last year. A video that surprise, could, it took us by surprise of course. According to the witness, the hole that you are seeing in the center is like a core, is uh, where the ships come, is like a tunnel. <laughs>